So it's 7 a.m. and I just walked Mary to work. And I just want to tell you a little bit about a project that I'm working on called the Gypsy Mother. I've gotten full permission to divulge the information of the parts of the project that I'm responsible for. Step one, what exactly the platform is. Step two, why? Why am I vlogging in this project? And what is actually different between this and other projects that I've done in the past? Step three, how? What the process is from design to development to documentation. The Gypsy Corner web application will feature two parts. First, the blog. The Gypsy will be able to separate your creative content, events, and ideas into separate sections of the blog using tags. Second, the artists. This will provide a way for local artists to post their creative content and combine it into portfolios. This way they can view other artists' portfolios as well as their own in hopes of creative collaboration. Alright, All right. what's different about this project than others is it's actually my first freelance project for an actual client. All my other projects have been for school or for personal development, and you can actually see those on my GitHub. So the layouts were designed in Sketch 3 and designed for mobile first, so they naturally follow a responsive layout. I placed a photo of the client, my sister, and our family to keep it inviting at the top. Below here we have the platforms that the Gypsy Corner offers, from blog to shop. Here's what the blog portion looks like in all three desktop, tablet, and mobile layouts. Again, it follows responsive design. Over here, we try and link to our most popular stories on the website. Posts will look pretty natural. Image, title, date, as well as the content. Keeping with the natural flow of things, top stories links on the sidebar over here. So the artist portion will just display all of the artists that we have currently signed up in a very natural way. This is what a single person's work would look like. It will provide their name, a description of them, and all their portfolios below. Again with mobile design and tablet. A specific portfolio would look very very similar just to keep things consistent over overall it will provide a thumbnail image of what the portfolio is designed for name of the portfolio the date and who it's by as well as a little description of to as to what the portfolio pertains and a specific piece of art will look just like this thumbnail image as well as the name who created it, when it was created, as well as a little description about the piece. 12 grid system, and for the actual development of the site, we will be using Bootstrap. For the development portion, it was built with Ruby on Rails. I'm going to go into a little bit of the configuration in the gem file. So we're using regular gems here. For the development, we're using a SQLite database, and for production, we're using PG. The reason for this is because in production, I'm pushing to Heroku. So for general configuration, we have Paperclip to deal with the Im images uploads, portfolio section, as well as the blog section. Uh, we have Devise for user authentication. Uh, we're using Devise Bootstrap Views to make our life easy. We're using CK Editor for the blog so that it makes text processing much easier. And the last one is Amazon Web Services SDK so that we can configure Paperclip with our production Heroku server. Alright, so I'm just going to show you what the routes look like. We're going to click Rake Routes right here. So the most important ones that we want to look at are the artists, portfolios, and pieces are sub-controllers of the artist's controller. 
all of the blog operations, my journey in Sacred Corner, as well as the regular blog posts, are routed through the blog controller, and they are sub-controllers, so you can make sense of it. We're routing our portfolios through our artist's namespace. We're also routing our pieces through our artists. The blogs is a little bit more complicated with the routes because we have separate sections of the blog. So we're routing it to each controller action for our subsections of the blog. So my journey will be related to the posts my journey action in the controller as well as the sacred corner will be the sacred corner action. And then we route all of our posts in the namespace of blog. Alright, so as you can see over here, uh, for our backend we have two sets of nested controllers. So we're routing the artists portion to artists sub whatever it is. Also we're routing the blog section to blog sub whatever it is. So for the blog section we just have the posts controller. In the artist section we have the pieces controller and the portfolios controller. So essentially a piece is a sublet of a portfolio. A piece is a specific work that contains an artist's portfolio ID as well as a user ID. So that means that the user that posts it can be referenced as well as the portfolio that it's within. I'll show you that in the model here. So in our artist portfolio. Portfolio has many pieces and it belongs to a user as opposed to a piece which belongs to a user and it also belongs to a portfolio. For the blog posts, the blog posts contain a tag as well as various other content such as a user ID where that blog post belongs to a user. It belongs to a user and has many tags. As well, each blog post can have an attached file. Same thing with the portfolio as well as a piece. Alright, that's essentially the back end for the web application. It includes many helpful resources and configurations in the gem file, as well as fairly complex database schema to keep up with our database relations. Alright, this is a creative form of the documentation of the Gypsy Corner. I hope you found some amusement out of it. See ya.